All right, so today what we are going to do is we are going to take a trip to memory lane and we are going to use the old school DeWalt impact driver. Now, this thing is severely used, severely beat up. The NICAD, the old XPR, oh, sorry, XRP NICAD batteries. Uh, the battery doesn't even fit on there. Uh, uh, doesn't even match the base of the tool. So we are going to do a versus video between the old school to the latest and greatest. Just want to see what the difference is between then and now. And so we are going to start off with the old school. This is model number DC825, quarter hexa collet. Uh, this is an 18 volt system, uh, 0 to 2400 RPM. I do not, it does not say the torque. I'll put the torque in right now. And yes, as you can see, the battery does not even come close to matching the, the base of the tool. Sounds pretty weak, but we will see. Then we are going to use the DeWalt uh, 2CF887, a quarter inch hex collet. Uh, this is a three speed settings. First speed goes to zero to a thousand. Second speed zero to 2800. Speed three goes to zero to 3250. So yes, this is about 850 more uh, RPMs than the old school. And this is 3800 impacts per minute. And I don't even, oh, and this is 2700 impacts per minute. So according to the specs, the new will completely dominate the old, but this is just gonna be fun to watch. Remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. Got mine right here. Alrighty, so we are gonna start off with the old school. Is it a collet push-in? Yes, it is, holy cow. That collet is push-in. Very good. Alrighty, so we're gonna start off with some timber locks. We're gonna do two timber locks each, then we're gonna jump straight into lag screws. All right, so we're gonna start off right here, which that's good. Uh, battery's full. I just took it off a of charge. I'm hoping that the battery could even survive the test because the battery is quite bad when it comes to holding the charge. All right, so ready? Go. We're only going to do one timber lock each. All right, so the latest and greatest is turn, the 887. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, so let's test this out. Let's take both of the timber locks out with this. Let's see if we can keep it up. All right, so ready, go. Never mind on that. Let's just take this one out. Ready? Go. Time. All right. So we all know that this is that this is good. All right. We're just gonna put this back up on the wall. All right. So let's just test what this could actually do. What we're gonna do is we are going to use a pre-existing hole. Use a so we're gonna use a pre-existing lag hole, and let's see if this could actually. Uh, put this back into the, as you can see right here, let's see if this could actually drive this in from the hole that it, uh, a lag screw came out of. All right, so ready, go. I do have another battery. Uh, this battery was at full charge, but it seems like it's dying. 
Got a fresh battery on there. As you can see, I got a couple of them. All right, so let's continue. That one's deader than this one. All right, so let's continue. Let's see if we can take it out. Yeah, we're not gonna wait for that. All right, so let's wh let's whip this back out because I don't want that in there. Two amp hour battery. Let's take that out. See, that's how it should have been. time alrighty so this old this is not the end of its life because I'm starting to think that it's just the battery so what I'm gonna do is because I actually have quite I actually have five tools that are old school like this I'll give you an example I can whip all of them out but I do have the old school hammer drill uh, I am going to get the adapter for the DeWalt so you could use the new batteries with the old tools. And we are gonna see in the future if the new tool if the new batteries will majorly help this perform better because the old NICAD batteries completely suck and are garbage. They still sell this at Home Depot as well for like a hundred and eighty bucks for two batteries. They should probably, they should give these away at Home Depot. So, but we are going to, this is not the end of these tools. We are going to do a major test in the future to see if the new batteries help these out. And DeWalt made the adapter. That's pretty much it. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.